and we're back. Okay, so let's manage this team. Uh, yeah, we have rations, so we don't need to hunt. Uh, she's good at camouflage, so we'll let her do that. I guess I'll do watch. All good. Okay. Easy peasy. Now we are out of rations, or enough rations to feed us, so I would still have to do that trick where uh, I'm the team leader and I basically get rations for being in our land, but we're not in our land right now. So we either A, need to progress to our land ASAP, or we're going to have to hunt. Um, that's okay. Quick save that mess. And I did want to try to get the Varnhold, like I said. Now if we do this right, I don't remember if it's this way or this way. Yeah, it looks like this one. They will literally escort us at some point, right? like so. Our travels took us east, leaving the mountain ridge behind. We came to Dunsword, a wild land le far less populous and civilized than the barony that had grown so dear to us. It wasn't all bad, though. The roads in Dunsword were well guarded, and we soon met a well-armed patrol. As we approached, one of them raised a hand, stopped, turned back. The road to Varnhold is closed. The sent guard was in less of a hurry to drive us off. He squinted and studied our leader. Wait, your door. My respects, your grace. If you're here traveling so far from your land, I have to assume you've come to visit our ruler, Maker Varn. You may continue on, of course. But please allow us to accompany you to Varnhold for your own safety. Are you ready to continue? Uh, took the opportunity to learn the reason for caution. Bandage your grace. One of the guards muttered, All sorts of rabble make their way here from rest off. We don't get a moment's peace. The river and roads are crawling with their lot until we clear them out. We thought it best to patrol the tracks and the river. But we're not here to hold you up with that. We'll be happy to accompany you on your journey to Varnhold. We agreed to let the guards escort safely to Varnhold. Awesome! This is the next part that's great, because what this does is it sets up our ability uh, to find that piece of gear. If I'm not mistaken, it lets us roam his land, which means his city. Yeah, and his city has stuff in it. Now, we need to find peeps. Steal something, of course, because as all good rulers do, He's part of the um, DLC, which, by the way, we're still not at the part of the DLC where we have a problem yet. Um, you have to do the DLC, from what I understand, before, uh, spoilers, these guys disappear. Okay. I'm not going to tell you more than that. You'll actually see it in my playthrough without the DLC. Uh, you can find out what I happened to them in the DLC. And like I said, I'm not doing that. Northeast, rest off 40 miles across the river, Barnhold Fort, northwest mountain pass, 12 miles. So over here should be Mager Varn, the ruler, the Baron, the new Baron. Remember him? He was the one with the cool waistcoat that didn't fit properly. You're bleeding me dry. Lower the price. He's arguing right now with a merchant. I can't. I just can't. It's going to be the problem. Yeah, it's not about that. Mager. Before he was a tall, robust man, a few white scars across his face, his dark hair gathered back in a small ponytail, and the sleeves of his expensive doublet do little to hide the muscles beneath. Although irritated by the argument, a wide smile lights up his face as he recognizes you. Whom do I see? Dora, my friend. Welcome to Barnhold. I am Major Barn. I run the town here. I hope you had no trouble on the roads. Uh, I just couldn't help not paying a visit, especially after your invitation. Look at this from another perspective, my friend. This is a chance to survey your eastern borders and make sure that you've got no one but allies here. It's better to see for yourself than to rely on my words alone, am I right? Not to the mention of taking the reins of government into your own hands. Trying to, at least. I have to admit, conquering these lands was far easier than keeping the green merchants in check. I see life in Varnhold is in full swing. Much remains to be done. What you see now is just the beginning. Varnhold was a shrine, uh, has a shining future. Just you wait. By next year, we'll begin building a track to the capital and establish river trade with rest of. Right now, Dunsard, yeah, that's the next uh, town, the next territory over, is not particularly welcome, welcoming, but I aim to change that. As soon as we get a foothold here, we'll begin clearing the land of creatures, monsters, and spirits alike. The people must feel safe. Planning future conquests, are you? We've got enough on our hands at the moment. Although in the future, who knows? Who knows? I'm sure he's winking at me right now. <laughs> Maker studies you for a moment and sounds that burst into back. Just don't think I'll start off by marching my guard over the mountains to your doorstep. There's plenty of land east for my people to patrol without trespassing on my allies. Uh, let me ask you directly. Who else are you allied with? 
Mager narrows his eyes at you, then nods. Good chase, huh? Very well. We have more in common than you'd think. Here's the truth. I don't trust those who sit in the north. That's uh, Lady of Uh They send fellows like us out to do all the dirty work. You and I share their frontier, this frontier. Dora and I rather bet on our mutual interest as neighbors than on the distant sword and uh, sword lords and their like. Uh, I stumbled into a most peculiar old man on my way here. Hmm. I guess you mean Cephal Laurentis, my wizard. Codger is hardly a pleasure to talk to, but when it comes to knowledge of the arcane, he's without match. Sometimes the locals bring me curious objects. They follow them while plowing or stumbling upon them while patrolling the wilderness. If the object looks interesting, I send them to the to Cephal. Let him separate the wheat from the chaff. You have my respects, Maker, but I have to leave. Okay, let's talk to the Where's off of my junk? Keep a couple of those. Anything I want to keep in here? Don't look like it. Boom, made us light. Anything we need to sell? I don't need those other bracers of armor. I really don't. Okay. Feel good about that. Does he have anything of interest? Uh, scroll of Wall of Fire, we'll take that. Control Fireball, we'll take that. Air Walk, we'll take that. Uh, I don't think we need any of these, but I'll take a Glitter Dust and a Frigid Touch, just because I find those useful for myself. Um, and I'll take a Hypnotic Pattern for something else probably needs it. Snowball, Detect Secret Doors, some Monster 1, could be Fodder. Yeah, hell, these are all cheap, might as well just take them. Thank you, sir. I thought that said Shimmering Sword, and I'm like, what? <laughs> no, it did not. Okay, now, we got that done. Quick save. Journal update. Uh, we have anything happen here. Uh, somehow I feel like I've missed something. Let me check something real quick, guys. We're going to do uh, newest to oldest. First off, copy to my spell book, yes, please. Uh, notes. Papers from Dumber's chest. Just check it, read it, prove to yourself there's not something in there. And Mager Barnes letter. Okay. Yeah, just want to make sure that I read it officially. Uh, otherwise, I could be screwing myself out like a quest or something. And I don't think we did. I think we're still solid. Nothing red anyway. If you see a big red X, then you know you've messed up. Sorrowful's done though. Uh, is there anything else we needed to do with that? Probably need to talk to her once we get back to our place. Now, is this the item? No. Ancient scrap of, of strip covers. Oh, that's a uh, masterwork, or not masterwork, excuse me, a, a fragment of an item that, again, the storyteller keeps back together for you if you um, find all the scraps. If you dare. It's pretty baller if it's pretty Downside is we have a perception problem. We're at a penalty because we're in the damn rain. But I don't think it's a hidden item. Yeah, that's that guy right there. Out, free standing. That comes off. You can have my little necklace because I give no Fs about that compared to the heart of Ira. Okay, let me show you this little bad doohickey. First off, uh, immune to fatigue and exhaustion. Boom. Done. Never going to happen to me again so long as I'm wearing this necklace. I do not get fatigued. Not from a spell. Not from an effect. Not from walking the map for 500 years. Never get tired again. Love that. Next part is an aura on this thing where you can literally activate it. Now it's not teammate friendly. So you pull it down here. Right? Uh, push What's her away. So long? And you activate it. It damages the bad guys or everybody around you, not randomly, for 2d6 damage. Magic damage, okay? You can do that as often as you want to reactivate that bad boy. Now, having said that, there is a place, there's more here, but I don't care. We'll come back to the spot eventually. Anyway, there is a place where the bad guy. Um, you can teleport into his area. If you're invisible, you can activate the Heart of Ira and stay invisible. It does not count as an attack. It does damage to him, but it does not count as an attack. So you're invisible and damaging and damaging and damaging him. He doesn't attack you because he's waiting for you to attack. 
you can kill a high level and I can't stress enough high level boss with this trick still works at least it worked the last time I played the game they've never patched it out I don't know if that's intentional I don't care if it's not intentional I'm still going to exploit it I'll show you how to do it I need two spells Why don't we set up them? now we're good we're going back home Notice that we have Silver Step Village. They, they ported us from here to here. So we're not really, again, in Varnhold again. They won't let us walk out. But the Lonely Barrow is where this bad guy is, by the way. We're not going there, though. Because, again, I can't do it with her in the party. I had to be solo. I can clear the map. Let me rephrase. I can clear the map of the Lonely Barrow. Leave oh, the bad guy. He is supposed to be a fight for later. Like a big man to fight for later. I need this. Warlock. Don't hold back. Straight up swing and missing, huh? Wow. Okay. Are you, madam. Uh, one or two stutter step your head back this way. And being this way. My fury. Nope, no joy. They get multiple tasks with my real concern. one. Thank God we have autosave. Uh, so, I, like I said, I can clear the map with a team. Why the main boss that we're talking him? about, My he is a tool. Absolute. And that tool uh, is supposed to be someone that you build up to be later. I'll show you how that's done. I won't care because I'm going to exploit it. Their life ends here. All right, so we want to now buff a weapon. This fool. Come on down, I'm as buffed as I can be at this point. She needs to straight up start hitting stuff. Though. You guys are tougher than it looks. Alright. I'm getting flat foot attacks now. Uh, as you can see, flat footed. Don't have a really good chance to hit, but that's my second swing at plus 9, so my swing before that's a plus 14. So I'm still doing okay. Here, you jackass. Oh, guys are pissing me off. Flames, take you. Okay. Thor, your turn. Uh, why don't you hit him with something solid? Body, body, teeth, gum. Uh, here we go. Uh, sister, protect me. Oh, I keep forgetting she has that sister thing too, so. Taste my beauty. Boom, go away. I'm there. Alright. Anyway, rest. Not rest. Uh, save. And definitely drink a potion or seven. Just enough to put you guys out of harm's way. There we go. Why don't we set up camp? Nope. We're going back to base. We have stuff to do. But we've done the, the two things I really wanted to get done today, so that's amazing for us. Uh, come back here to base. Oh, 
Come on with this crap. They're going to punish you until you get your team back. Is how this works. I swear it does. Let's make this quick. Oh, not these doofuses again. All right, let's bum rush the team down there. Oh, actually. Hey, buddies. You see my fireball spell? Aha! Alchemist over there getting ready to be a jerk. Alright, let's uh, run up here so the Alchemist can't throw bombs at us without moving. I hate pain. And apparently her. So now she's here. This is annoying. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Give me my turn. First part of Ira. Don't hold back. Yes, I know I damaged her. I don't care. I have a chance this to damage these guys hurt. in mass. She's gonna be out of the way. I don't care. She's annoying. Uh, go up here. Be away. Be as far away as possible. Let them be jackasses, and you can heal yourself. Right? We'll have you do that shit. You go too long. My masterpiece. So the AOE aura. Anything that comes within the range of that is going to start taking 2d6 magic damage. Every round, see the four. You should have run! Strike! Nice. Oh. Right, you need to heal yourself. Well, that wasn't bad. Right, you're back in it. mess with this alchemist what you say first uh, I can drink a potion I believe and still get my turn yes all right charge this fool don't hold crap. back this will hurt so I, always the rules. I always mess the rules up but now I'm in the range of these idiots taste my he heard me be able to take out him. If we take him out, my AOE damage is probably gonna kill these damn fools off. You should have run! There we go. Still burning. Can you heal other people? Probably not at this route. Get out of there. You're gonna get your ass set on fire by my magic aura. Strike! Okay, good job. Now, do your beaming attack. Nice. This wound, my gift to you. Okay. It's time to act. Shut the aura off. I think they probably saved our ass. I do what I must. All right, all right, all right. And we're so close to base now. The two of us can probably get there in a hop, skip, and a jump. So. Let's hope so. But I do not want to repeat another fight. Quick save. Move, move. Get back, please. Enter. All right. Uh, main square. First things first, we need to sell off all this loot. Most of it's garbage. Uh, but... We'll sell it off and maybe buy some BP. I'll go talk to her in her house now that she's back home. Usually that's a condition, right? Like, oh, come and see me when you're back. I didn't see anything like that in the tooltips, but you never know. Uh, and we'll probably visit the throne room before we put up a party together and head to the witch's hut, right? So the witch's hut, uh, and he, she needs her mushrooms. And we have all kinds of stuff over there we can kill. So we'll rest up and get all that good stuff under our belt. Oh, uh, see what you got. Oh, and I would need to see that lady too before I forget. Uh, our other artisan. Uh, you know, all that stuff. I could care less about it. Someone can use that necklace, so I'll just keep that for now. And we never found the other one of these, which we probably need to go to Bakken for that, or the Oleg's for that. But we will see. Uh, looks like I need more camping supplies, but I'm fairly certain we had store I'm some. There. So we just need to go to our kit. Oh, we need to go to her house though. Like I said I was gonna do. Quick save. 
Come on. Of course, here's the uh, sweet teeth, or whatever they call these guys. Nio says, I can't believe it. Look who it is. If it isn't a baron himself, I thought general folks didn't hang around their subjects' homes. Not unless I rob you. Elky slaps the young tiefling on the side of his head. Forgive him, you're crazy. He's got a big mouth, so big that when he comes to visit someone, his tongue enters first and talks rubbish for a few minutes before the rest of his head shows up. These two are trying are trying to say that your visit is a great honor for us. How can we help you? Don't say that we can't. There are many things we can do. Just try us. How did you find out about the disk of the eclipse? Well, that's some story. We've been uh, we're talking we're walking at night in complete darkness through an empty moonlit barren. And we got lost and stumbled through the scary thicket, but then we saw a light ahead, a witch's house. As soon as we went inside, she she said we are dummies who couldn't watch our tongues and threw us out in the disc of the eclipse. We found out about that by accident. A peddler talked to us on the road and just gave us an ancient chronicle where we read about it. We accidentally used the chronicle for kindling, but we remembered everything we read really, really well. Tell me about yourself anytime. Yes, if, if nothing else, we always have a lot of stories. Ask and we'll tell you anything you like. Um, thank you for your answers. We'll come back later. Thanks for stopping by. If you need anything, just whistle. I'm stealing from you. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely stealing from you. Give me all your stuff. Alright. Anything over here? No. Upstairs. Is that you, Clicky? Canera. Make sure she hasn't restocked her. Yep. Remember, we stole from that last time. Uh, what do you say? Uh, the tiefling girl taps her foot, irritated, then leans toward you and whispers loudly, Did you see that? My sister has all three of her empty-headed friends right on our tail. They used to follow her around in Kadira. They both, they know both of us very well. Couldn't we just send them away somewhere? Oh, and by the way, hello. Uh, uh, Don't you think the disc of the eclipse reacted strangely? Maybe. My sister and I have tried to figure out what happened, but failed. We need a real specialist in this sort of magic. A specialist like I can't even imagine. I can definitely say that the disc hasn't been destroyed. It seems to have become a part of my connection with my sister, helping us to move between the material plane and our demi-plane. We continue to explore this new ability. Maybe we'll learn more at some point. Uh, tell me, what made you stay here after we found your relic? Fair question. You see, there's an important detail about how I died and returned to life. I was killed by a repulsive creature called a Soul Eater. After a spellcaster aims it at its victim, the wretch will chase it tirelessly and endlessly. When I was returned to life, the Soul Eater lost its prey, but it's still chasing me and might show up at any time. It would be much easier for me if I could meet it here, surrounded by experienced monster hunters, ready to protect a poor fugitive from danger. Oh, wait, wait, wait to bring danger to my kingdom. Uh... Uh, the lives of my companions is more to me than can be expressed in words. I will try to help you. Eh, nah. I won't let you. Uh, anyone hurt you. We'll deal with the beast if it shows up. I like your confidence. I have a penchant for the strong and confident. I'd like to talk to your sister. With that stiff, Canero wrinkles her nose but seems strangely sad. And very well, I'll go get her. So long. <laughs> Teething girl will greet you warmly but seems a little distracted. I'm glad to see you at my hearth. She bites her lip and adds in a whisper. Have you seen the sweet teeth? I can't get them out of the house, and I'm so scared they'll suspect something and reveal our secret, Canaris and mine. I wish I could keep them busy somewhere out of town, but anyway, welcome. Um, it's strange what happened with the disc of the eclipse. Kaliki nods. Ancient forces can be mysterious. I thought we'd need to spend a lot of time studying the properties of the disc before we learned how to use it. But it just worked as soon as we touched it. If I understand its action correctly, it attuned itself to the connection between the material plane and our demi plane. Now we can move between them at will, and the rest is handled by our strange inner connection. I step into the plenary plane, and Nethys' power transports Canera from there to the material plane. Uh, I have to go so long. Good luck to you in everything you do, and please send the sweet teeth off on some errand to keep them away from Canera. That's what I wanted. Follow if okay, you so we have the ability to ask the uh, sweet teeth to go do stuff. We want to keep them busy so they don't say something stupid. So we talk to them. Um, well, let's see if you can complete my task. Give us your order. We won't let you down. Uh, the Narrow Archers are overgrown. They need to be weeded. 
I still can't get used to these swamps everywhere. When I was little, I thought that march marches and seas and glaciers were all just stories made up by travelers. But here you just leave the city walls and you're up to your knees in a real swamp. It's fantastic. Do you really think His Grace wants us to tell him about his lands? Why not? The swamps here are, oh, so juicy, green, and blooming, and the mosquitoes whistle day and night. The Padisha himself would envy you. I don't know what the hell that means. Uh, all right, enough talk. It's time we get to work. Grabbing their travel bags, the young tieflings run away. Peace out. Basically, you got to keep them busy every time they come back. When they come back, you'll get a prompt letting you know that, hey, they're back. I'm come and talk to them. They'll tell you that they did a good job or whatever. And you basically want to just continually keep them busy. So you unlock places for them to go for one. So you saw we had choices of where we could send them. So that was one of the choices. Uh, so that is this quest. A task for the sweet teeth. Come up with some errands for the sweet teeth. Uh, wait till the Nar marches have been weeded. So again, this will be the next one that checks off. And then to give them another job. And just keep doing that. As long as you keep giving them stuff to do, you're good to go. Uh, time to go inside. Clearly we need to rest, but let's see what our kingdom has to offer. Oh, uh, let's see, where are we going? We need to go to the witch. Jod looks to be puzzled and amused at the same time. Your grace, I brought you an extremely unusual message. It's, how should I put it, an essay on your barony, written by, oh yeah, this is written by Jubilas Narthropel, and published only recently. I thought you might like to see it for yourself. The uh, items received Independence Magazine. Jimmy's writing about me. I bet you it's all good thing. Was that Dragon? Dragon bows, coughing quietly to his beard. Your Grace, I would like to apologize. I suppose I was a little headstrong during my last visit. I have a bad temper. In the mountains, they used to call me Grumbler. Well, I didn't expect my petition to be taken seriously. No one wants to share with strangers, even if their demands are quite lawful. Please know that I appreciate your honesty. Please accept this. I worked hard on it. I hope it serves you well. The opportunist dwarven war axe. What, what? It is a decent piece of work, to be fair, but not a masterpiece. Masterpieces are rare, once-in-a-lifetime accomplishments. Anyway, I have an idea how to use my family relic for your greater glory, but I'm going to need your help. Come by if you're interested. I'll tell you more. Uh, I need something from you specifically. So this is his list of stuff. Now... A lot of this can be misleading. There is a wiki page or whatever that can tell you the information about what this may give you. Okay, Sometimes it's only one thing, so you can get the same weapon over and over again. Sometimes it's a, a list of stuff. And it's not necessarily a list of stuff that makes sense. Like, make me something in the Dwarvis style. What the hell does that mean? That could be all kinds of crap, so who the hell knows? But if you really needed a good crossbow, if you really wanted some good plate armor for your teammate, a solid shield of some kind, he could do those things for you. So this is your chance to work in a specific vein of, I want this, I need a hammer, because I'm a hammer guy, or I want this for a harem, or, you know, whatever. But, crossbows are solid. Uh, I like a good shield and plate armor. Something in the Dwarver style is usually something pretty kick-ass and awesome. So, what you feel? Uh, let's go with the crossbow, though. Most reasonable. Nowadays, they don't even think it's a real victory unless you overpower them hand-to-hand. -hand. But if you ask me, shooting bolts from a distance is smarter than getting bludgeoned to death. Let the fools think what they like, but you and I, we know better. Damn right we do. I love dragon. Dragon's awesome. We need to complete his quest. Um, let's look at our Betchwana. Betchwana has to say for itself. Success, plus one community. Okay, so we have the wise man. And again, we have time to do it. But notice that we have Bandit's Outrage. And we have someone that can do it. Okay, notice though we have economy, restoration of the Talden mine. We found that mine with the uh, Canera, Kaliki, whatever. Uh, that is something that will literally benefit us. Um, the BP per week, again, a very nice and reasonable one. Um, not going to work on it just yet because it takes uh, 25 days to do it, and that would put her square into next month. I'd rather have her have a task like that at the first of the month, so she'll be done by like the 26th or the 27th. And then she still has time to do something else that month, if need be. Uh, but again, event-wise, we have a problem. He needs to solve it. And again, we only have till the first of the month to do it. He has seven days to do it. Might as well put him on it now. This one here, when Tristan's available, which is in nine days on the 20th, we can have him do this one. So again, we should be able to complete the opportunity. My goal is to try to get as many 
green checks as we can for the opportunities and the problems. Um, as far as this other stuff, rank up wise, Tristan wants to rank up, General wants to rank up, uh, the Regent wants to rank up. Anyone that's level one, I should try to get to level two. Because remember, economy's already at two, two BP per week, two BP per week, one BP per week. It matches the economy and their rank, whichever is the lowest is what you get. So if I can get Divine to 2, I'll suddenly get 2 BP per week from Divine. If I get Military to 2, I get 2 BP per week from Military. So that's to my benefit. Notice our stats. Uh, we're sitting pretty on Loyalty and Economy and Military. Uh, community wants to rank up here, so we probably need to do something for it. Uh, let's take a look at our regions. Zero days before her shop is made. Perfect timing. Uh, we're heading over there, uh, not right now, but any moment now. So let's bounce out of here. We'll do a save. Uh, rest. Because I need to be rested. And then... Oh, we needed to look at that thing that Jubilost made about us. We got handed a... Newest, oldest. Independence Magazine. Let's be honest, the achievements of the new Baron are still quite moderate. He's being honest. We told him to be honest, so I'm okay. But that's why Jai was all up in arms. This is the opportunist warf and war axe that we were given, remember, by our artisan. One of our two or three artisans right now. We have a plus one speed weapon, right? So what do speed weapons do? Again, extra attack around at full base attack bonus. Notice this one also deals additional nine damage on a successful crit. Uh, and it grants the will of the ability to cast Flare. Who cares? Twice per day. It's a first level wizard. Ring ring and ding ding. But it's there. Uh, that extra nine damage though comes in super handy. So when you crit in from 10 to 19 and then suddenly it's nine more, boom. Uh, I don't know if the nine gets multiplied on that crit though. But uh, we'll probably sell that. That's sell material. And again, they never seem to take offense that we're selling their stuff. So be happy about that fact. We're taking the stuff here. I'll do it. Is there anything I need to leave behind? I'm sure there is. I have, oh yeah, I got the, this, and I got the, um, what? Yeah, you, no, no, I want to keep those with me. Is that it? I could have sworn I had more than that. Let's look by type. Maybe that's why I'm missing it. Oh, I got potatoes, and uh, let's, yeah, food, I suppose I'll drop behind. Syrup, and that's the... Onslaught stuff. Hooch. Keeping those, so that's what we're taking. Those is the witch. Weapons. Okay. I'm going to keep this and put this down here. Dang it. Forgot you have to, to drag it. Like so. Okay. Alright. Feel good about that. Um, you see we have two different kinds. So here's the rune-covered ancient leather scrap and the ancient scrap of script-covered leathers. So there's two different kinds. I so don't think that you're getting the same thing. It's two different items that you're putting together. Uh, I was hoping I had more of those things, but I guess I don't. But we haven't been exploring very much either. Um, as I was saying, I do they don't I seem must. to take offense to the fact that you're selling off their stuff. <coughs> I'm assuming they're smart enough to realize that you're a king or baron, whatever. And they're not just going to um, uh, expect you to tout around every piece of gear that they make you because A, one, why would you do that? B, two, some gear you just can't use, right? So they're not idiots. That's the way I look at that, and that's why I don't mind selling some of their stuff off. And again, if it's something you're clearly not going to use, you should sell it because it's BP. It's gold that you can use to buy better gear or BP for your kingdom. So, always a win. Uh, the more artisans we get up, by the way, the, the faster that happens. So we start getting like ridiculous amounts of just gear, gear, more gear, 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 gear. And then it just becomes super easy to start selling stuff off and making a small fortune off of your artisans alone. There are eight coins. Eight, look me in the eye, honorable Hassaf, like black clouds that hide in the shining sun. That price steals the joy from my soul and the smile from my face. 
I would pluck the moon from the sky for your smile, O oh beautiful daughter of the desert. But as long as I stand on this side of the counter, no one's charm is going to cloud my judgment. Eight gold coins and not one coin less. You are so cruel, Kinnera notices you and smiles warmly. Now I'll leave you alone to your heartlessness. Peace out. Wave to her. <laughs> Way to stick to your guns, bro. <laughs> Pretty smile never never gave you any money. What do you want? You say, oh, has of shrewdest of merchants. I like it, though. I like people who know which side of their bread is buttered. Canera almost purrs with pleasure, looking around playfully. What are you haggling about? Some trinket. I don't even remember what it looks like. I just like haggling with Hassaf. It's like a little game and a, a little like flirting. Uh, yeah, this is your chance to romance her. Pass. Uh... I'm sorry, I can't keep you company. Farewell. Kinera doesn't even try to hide her disappointment. Oh, Baron is always so busy. Well, I'll go look for someone else to tease. Peace out. Ain't interested. Not in details, honey. Oh, we're gonna go this way. And talk to him. He has for sale. Now, remember, we have stuff that we can sell, like the Optic Dwarf Axe, keeping the Demolisher still. Give me the cold iron dagger. We'll give that necklace to somebody. Oh, I forgot to sell the ham. Let's just sell that junk. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, see, it sells for a decent clip of money. I want to check um, necklaces. Necklaces. Who's got the necklaces? Oh, and I want to take my necklace back from old girl because it's a plus two. Her sister doesn't have one, but I don't care. I want to rather have my core team be awesome. Hey, Jubilos, here's an airwalk spell for you. And a kick-ass necklace, bro. Not that he needs it, per se, because he has the uh, bark skin. Matter of fact, that's a good point. He doesn't need it because he has bark skin. I would give it to Miri. And he could use one because he's a pansy. There we go. Time to get the team together. Journal-wise, we are looking at Coins for Dead Man's Eyes, Curse of Candlemere. Eh, maybe not yet. Uh, prove your worth. Eh, task for Sweet Teeth, they're doing that right now. We need to talk to Talky Talk, -talk uh, and find that Onslaught armor piece. So, matter of fact, let's actually probably do that. We need... What? A team... And that team will be, of course, my triumvirate. And no one else needs to come with us, so we might as well take Jubilost so that we can start leveling him up for when we want to go back to the Tenabris Death to kick that jackass's ass. He needs to unlock Force Bombs if he doesn't have them already. Or Holy Bombs might even be good, but I don't know that for a fact. Force Bombs, though, for sure, is a solid, solid choice. Um, it'll be Touch Attack. They won't be immune to the damage, and we can straight up just ruin shit. So number one, we have Candlemere. We have a variety of stuff we still haven't seen. Uh, we need to come back to here to talk to Talky Talk. Uh, Swamp Witch's Hut, so we got that stuff to do in the same general direction. However, to get the stuff for his Onslaught armor, I want to say we have to go all the way up here to Oleg's, specifically to pick up the Onslaught pieces. And the last Onslaught piece. Peasy, punk and squeezy. All right, come on, old leg. Give me some good news, bro. If you have the piece, if, if he don't have the piece, I don't know where it is. I'll have to look it up online when we're not on the video game. Um, and that sucks. But again, you can do so. It's easy enough. People have written it down and typed it into the computer for you. So we don't need to talk to Bakken, but I always do. Um, I don't do this one because I'm afraid that that may discourage him from making the potion. So if anyone knows better than me, feel free to tell me. Uh, but should we have? It's always important to see what he has to sell. Uh, blur, Barks can remember with Jubilost on the team with his potion ability. Potions are always amazing for us, so always try to invest in extra potions. I need to take a couple of those. Over here to Oleg. Show me 
it wears. Oh, wait, please tell me you have this thing. Oh, uh, where did we find it? Yeah, the cure ass. Okay, we do have it. Awesome sauce. All right. Uh, he doesn't have anything in here that I care about, right? Nor here. Nor here. Armor-wise or weapon-wise, we're solid. Okay. Cool, cool. Bouncing out of here. So we have, just to prove to ourselves, all three pieces. One, two, three. That's his final armor. So now we're going to him anyway, and we talk to Dragon, give him that. He'll give us more information on his quest. We'll talk to Talkie Talk, who's in the same town, and see what she has for quest stuff to do. Leave. So, two birds, one stone. Then we'll go on to the witch to give her her mud bowl root mushroom death cap, bridal caps, whatever the hell those are called. And we'll see what we have to do from there. So, where's my town? This is where you headed, kid. Quick save. Remember, two people will not get tired ever now. Time to get some rest, See that? isn't it? I have that necklace on. That necklace is money. If you ever want to solo travel, you want that necklace. You never get tired. You take it off because you need to do something else. Guaranteed, you're going to immediately be like, I'm tired. Are we there yet? And it's going to suck. So always leave the necklace on if you can. Uh, from I'll here, since I don't know what we're fighting, might as well just bring out some skeletons. We're going to rest before too long anyway. Where the hell are they? Alright. We got a troll hound. What up, troll hound? Oh, by the way, did I get an upgrade for my... I did get an upgrade. I need to put that down there. That's a speed weapon, by the way. For those of you that don't know. This will hurt! Juby. Yeah, he doesn't a have the bombs that I want yet. He has bombs. Remember, they're the guys we want to target in the Tanaver Steps are immune to um, acid and immune to fire, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't think any of his bombs are going to hurt him at all. So we need to have something that does something different. And that's where the force bombs come into play. He gets the force bombs, and suddenly it's epic time because they don't do as much damage instead of like the 1d6 per bomb level. Remember how he steadily progresses? It's 1d4, but it oh, does that based on the fact that, um, quick save, based on the fact that uh, most people don't resist force damage. So again, to our benefit. Matter of fact, let's actually come here. We can rest here. Might as well check on the throne room while we're already here. Rest, and we'll bounce right back out. I probably should honestly check his gear while I'm thinking about that. He's got what he needs there. He's got what he needs here. Okay. Just want to make sure. So, quick rest. Prove to ourselves that nothing happened while we were resting or away. Someone didn't become available, you know what I mean? Uh, nope, we're still good. Four, six, eleven, and we still have two slots available. So again, we have room. We definitely need to be back here in six days. So on the twentieth. Matter of fact, let's do a hard save on that, and just say be back by the twentieth. Out of here. I'm Go talk to those people. Everything that we have to do, we can totally get done in the six days, I think, that we have, and no problem. Oh, uh, we're gonna leave. Yes. Same team, sure. Um, all we have to do literally is visiting a town, talk to Dragon, talk to the Talkie Talk, and then quests will be given to us. We probably won't get that done, but we'll get the quests from them. And then we need to go to just pass it to the Swamp Witch's Hut to give her her stuff. Make her happy, and then we have time to explore. Maybe. We'll have to see. Remember, we got a specific deadline here. So, 
from there, not only will it be explorations and such, but we also need to, and I can't stress this enough, make sure we're leveling up and ranking up our advisors. That's the thing that I've been messing up before. And it's a, a thing that I don't want to mess up again. Problem, refugee. Perfect opportunity for Valerie. Might as well put her on it, because you know you're going to do anyway. It's going to take her 14 days. She'll be done by the 19th. And again, um, if something else crops up that's more important, she'll have time to respond to it. So I'm cool with that. This is why it's nice that we've claimed this region, because we can do that when the flag shows up, we can immediately click the button. We can't go, the one thing we can't do is go to our throne room. But by and large, it's awesome. The downside is, is once we get outside of our territory, like you see the Dar dire Narl marches over here, that's a problem. Because then we can't communicate. Well, there's a way around that. And I'll show that to you when we finally get leveled up enough. But there's a specific building, or sets of buildings that you want to have in your kingdom. And if you do it in the right places, then anywhere you go, you can technically talk to your kingdom and it's freaking sweet so dragon here's your stuff bro now recover your grandfather's armor you can take it dragon smiles happily but freezes as he sees armor oh, damn kurgan you scoundrel ruining perfectly good armor i gather he couldn't find a buyer for the whole thing so he decided to sell it off piece by piece ugh that'll be a lot of repairs it'll take forever uh want to know more about you Blah -de blah blah, talky talky, tell me about your crap, tell me about your family, because I really give a damn about all this. If you like it here, great, get back to work. Okay. So, wait news from Dragon. Then, over here is talky talk. Ooh. Naya, ah, yeah, it's happy to see you, old oh, most worthy one, blah -de blah blah. What sort of help do you need? Driven by my father, it was meant for a family that has lived for centuries near the home of my relatives in Absalom. Life has scared us. Uh, all across Galarian, but we never gave up hope reuniting with those who he once knew as so well. My father asked me to pass his letter to a member of this fine family if I should ever happen to stumble across one. Letter to Hassoff. Uh, do I deliver my lands? Let me a Vudra. You talked about the treasures of your homeland. How would one go about trying to find them? <laughs> Keep quiet. Listen to her ramble on. Tell me of your homeland. She talks a lot. Were you a ruler? Keep quiet. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, let's talk about your homeland some other time. Uh, I have to go. Peace out. Okay. Now we have a quest for her. Deliver the letter to the merchant. The merchant is back in our capital. That's Hassan, the one we always deal with. We'll do that, obviously, on our way back. But now we're on our way to Swamp Witch's Hut. And we are probably going to do m multiple fights here. Time I do want to try to take rest, on... Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to try to take on the stuff in the upper corner. And well as the well. That's the last two fights, I believe, on that map. But it may be rough. However, if we prepare for it, the well one shouldn't be that bad. I, do I can do I my must. trick with my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, my necklace, my heart of Ira, the aura, that'll damage my team. So obviously you just put the team far away. I activate the well, the bad guys show up, kick on my heart of Ira if it's not already on, and they start damaging those bastards, and I just need to be protected from lightning. And I think we can take them out that way. So it'll give you a good chance to see this trick that I, I like to use. Quick save. Arrested. In case we miss something up here, give her the mushrooms. Here are your black rattle caps. The old woman smells the mushroom and takes a small bite. She chews on it slowly for a moment, then grins a gleam in her eye. Ha! Strong! These will be good, all right. 400 bucks, 1800 XP, lost our rattle caps. Okay, anything else for sale? Nope, need those. And. <coughs> excuse me. I don't need these. You want them? There you go. Price-wise, what does she got here? <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness, I need a drink of water here. All right. Boom. Nothing there. I can grab some of that stuff, but nah. I'll take a scroll. Less restoration. Those always come in handy. Uh. 
right. Nothing there I care about right now. No armor. Weapons wise, that frost quarter staff is still there, but nah. Okay. So it the trick, if it works, because I haven't tested this yet, is we go here and there's gonna be some checks there. So that's gonna be a thing. Let's With the team being ready. here, it could be an issue. We have seen visible communal, so that's gonna be helpful. Ormos. We definitely wanna buff up. And they're going to blast us, though, with electricity. That's going to be a real problem. Um, yeah, let's prepare for this proper. Okay. Got everything from you, bro. Cat's great. I love this. He's penalized right now for being tired, so... Give him everything he can. We'll give him expeditions for treat. Or why not? His bomb should work on these things. She's going to summon her pups. Just for fodder more than anything. And she also has resist energy. I don't know that hers is better than his. His is level 7. So his is level 6. Or 8. No, hers is level 7. Because she has a monk level dip. Yeah, okay. So his is and hers is the same. Um... I don't know that these will work on these things. I don't know if any of her stuff is going to work on these things. So we're going to do a quick save. Come to the well. Detect magic. Aura of death magic hangs about the well. The aura runs strong and deep, emanating from the bottom of the well itself. Will. 15. Nice. Knocked on the lid. Succeeded. Will check. A flurry of whispers erupts from beneath the lid, and for a moment you feel faint, but you take a breath and focus, blocking out the whispers. Your momentary disorientation subsides. Pry open the lid. Right on the lid, it splinters away, and a false sense bursts forth. You feel a vicious, evil presence rushing towards you. Okay. There's our guys. War wisp, an ancient will wisp. This is the problem. Okay, so let's activate you. And remember, magic missiles do work on these doofuses, but I don't think anything else really does. You should have run. You're gonna mess with this one. Jubal loss. Five foot step away from this doofus and start chucking bombs. Primitives. <laughs> Didn't hit it directly. He missed. See that? 27 touch attack. And he's got a plus 13. So for him to miss, they had some high, high armor. Eliza. Five foot stutter step this way. And you are going to try to just damage him with fire. Hey, it works. We'll take that. We're gonna get lightning bolts all over the place, so it's gonna be a thing. You're gonna see stuff die left and right. But we are protected. Proto. You, madam, are gonna come straight the hell back away from this mess and bust out the board. I don't think these guys are going to be immune to Acid Cantrip, so that's probably my saving grace here. Juby? Will you know they do. ever learn? Eliza? Uh, why don't you damage this one over here? Not bad. If we can take out one, then we can take out all of them, in my opinion. Uh, Madam. Out Can't of my way! She's not gonna have a lucky time hitting that thing. We could try out, like I said, auto hit moves. I don't think they work. We can give it a go. No. Don't up. hold back! Nice. That's gonna make it easier. Yeah. Alright, so Jubilos, you're coming over here. A fine use of my talents. Missed, but got him for five. Eliza. Let's see if Bone Shaker works at all. Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, but she does have Bane Weapon. I could activate that and give her a better chance to hit. Maybe we'll do that and run up and hit it. Uh, Proto. Uh, why don't you try to do the bouncing spell? I don't think it'll work, but. Nope. Never hurts. Check. Doing work over there. It's okay. 
Uh, let's actually have him do his acid one on it to see if that helps at all. Nope, he's immune to corrosive touch, as you see. They give me an extra swing, though, even though I missed two times. I hit him once. That's all that matters. Bomb boy. Get on it. Eliza. Bane. Strike as one. She has a plus to her swing now, thanks to it being Bane. Still not going to be able to hit it very often. It's like 18 out of 20. So you can do this one. Run them through. Nice skeletons are saving the day. That's my team. And they drop three coins. Now, here's the trick on the coins. Um, we can talk to people about them. If you talk to him, he'll he'll probably want them for him. Two for him, but you need two to free him as well. And there's only three. So really, who are you freeing? Are you freeing the specter, the dad that sold his daughter? Bad seller, but basically it was weird. He gave her to the fate uh, when he was supposed to be promising her to this doofus, the ghoul. But you come to find out when you look at the coins that they each have a name on them. Wilbur, Wilbur, and Calatropsia. So, you come to find out when you talk to these people, he cursed two people. That's why there's two coins. She cursed, I want to say her boyfriend. He's Wilbur. Oh, wait. No, how does that work? Hmm, maybe let's talk to the witch. We'll talk to the people. That makes sense. Uh, take a look at these coins. We found them at the bottom of the well. Oh, foul evil that is. She spits on the floor. I don't know which magic is that, but it has the feel of a curse or something even worse. Uh, keep it away from me. Okay. Good riddance. Bye. Um, we can also talk to the people up here. It should do so. We're doing all this before we take any because the last fight we'll definitely need to rest for this mess. And we may not be able to survive that fight either. It's a very tough one. But with our summons and if I need to with the Heart of Ira. We can pull off quite a bit. But we'll definitely buff up to the nines for that fight. I'm, I'm going to talk to them about these coins. Calotropsia, I found a coin with her name on it. Look. I believe really the coin, the dru uh, dryad turns deadly pale. This this is a curse. Someone had hated our queen so much she was ready to doom his soul, but destroy her too? So that's what happened. The hatred must have been great to turn her into a monster. I fear to imagine what happened to the one who put the curse on her. So this came from Wilbur. Her from the, the boyfriend. He got cursed. He's the ghoul. The specter is Wilbur, I think, the dad. And so he cursed the dad, and so did the daughter. So the daughter threw the coin in to curse her father. The boyfriend, the former boyfriend, threw in a coin to curse the father, and another coin to curse the fae, which was the scythe tree. Um, so again, if that makes sense to you, you can talk to the dad. You don't have to give him the coins yet. You can make your decision after you talk to him. So talk to him, talk to the former boyfriend, fiance, whatever, and then make your decision for who you're going to cure. In fact, I think if we talk to them in this order of the dad and then the former boyfriend, the boyfriend repents kind of and feels bad for the dad. And I think he offers that you give him to the dad, which makes your job easier. But there's a different reward for who you save. Just know that. Not anything super special but it is special time to get some rest uh, i found some it? coins in the well here have a look the ghost studies the co coins in several uh, several moments then turns to you his face grief stricken that's what this is all about that's why i can't rest oh dark things dark sins what do these coins mean they are a curse it is a legend in these parts it was said if you were bore hatred in your heart hatred so fierce it could burn another soul all you need to do was etch your enemy's name on a coin and cast it into the cursed well it would be the end of them, the ghost nods. And the end of you as well. Curses carry a heavy price. If you hate another more than you love your own life, well, your life is forfeit already. Well, whose names are on these coins? Wilbur, that's me, and I thought I had no enemies at all. And here are two who wanted me gone from this world. These coins, look at them. The inscription was done by different hands. And the second name, the second, Calatropsia, sounds familiar. Aye, right, that's the Dryad, my daughter's new love. Someone must have hated her so much that he was willing to doom his own immortal soul to get rid of her and of me. 
I guess this Yobo Dorsey was the one who cursed us, her for stealing his bride, and for me, and me for letting this happen. Nasty things, nasty sins. But who else could wish me dead? I've got no slightest idea about that. Um, look at this letter. It was written by the same hand as your name on the coin. After reading the letter, the old man shakes his head, devastated. Oh, Nita, Nita, what have you done? What have I done? Such an old fool. That was his daughter. The ghost raises his grief-stricken eyes at you. While I was alive, I was a coward. A coward and a liar. That's how it went. On one hand, I felt Dorsey was a good man, a reliable man, a much better match for my daughter than some dryad. On the other hand, it would bring misfortune on me, on us, the village, to refuse the fay. And my Nita, she truly loved the dryad. What was I left to do? I gave her to Dorsey. The Fae would seek revenge if I gave her to the Fae. Dorsey would seek revenge. I refused to give advice, uh, but I couldn't heed it myself. I was a fool, the ghost speaks, slower as if hearing his own story for the first time. I lied to Dorsey, saying the Fae threatened me. Then I lied to my daughter, telling her Dorsey had pursued me. Then I waited for the situation to solve itself, and it did. Dorsey grew to hate me, and so did my own daughter. Wow. The ghost shakes his head and closes his eyes. Uh, what keeps you from your eternal rest? Here they are. These coins just won't let me go. Those with my name on it. They are the symbols of a curse. I was hated by not, uh, not by one, but by two persons. Their hatred is the rope that ties me to this world and keeps me awake. I don't know if a curse like that can be lifted, but do me a favor. Put the coins on the altar of Aristotle. It's nearby in the temple's ruin. Maybe my God will take mercy on me. Let me rest at last. Um... That's not about curse. Let me talk about something else. Uh, I opened the well and scattered will o -wisp. You did, and I still can't rest, so it wasn't those lights after all. I must have done something wrong then. Or maybe I had to do something, but didn't. Damn it all. I, uh, if only I could remember. Leave. Let's go talk to the other guy. Like I said, you don't have to give him the coins yet. You can go talk to the other guy, get the full story, and then make your decision. Sadly, though, I kind of hate the dad. As weird as it is, I know his treasure's better, but I still hate him for basically he was a coward, screwed over his daughter, screwed over her fiancé, former fiancé, and it all went to hell in a handbasket because he just didn't want to tell them all the truth. The dead man stands before you. We found some coins at the bottom of the well. Here, have a look. The dead man starts to shake, either with silent laughter or with silent sobs. You cannot tell. Yes, there, I see. He points at two of the coins. These. Give me these. This is what will cure him. Uh, was it you who cursed Wilbur and Calatropsia? Curse, cursed. Didn't know. Thought it was a, uh, thought it but a tail. I didn't know it would work. So it was me. I killed that beast from the forest and my knight too and her bastard of a father. The whole village and me along with it. All my fault. I, I do not deserve rest. The headman. He's old like me. Take these coins to him. Give him final rest. I, I'll stay here. So he offers to stay as a ghoul permanently instead of uh, leaving it to the dead so uh where did you learn to curse people nowhere just a tale an old one everyone knew it but no hold on i recall now i had a dream a maiden she told me to inscribe the names on the coins throw them to the well and justice will be served i thought her a good omen who else cursed will beside you the dead man stares at the coins inscribed by the other's hand i don't know uh i got more uh some more questions for you no, I don't. Okay. So, he's basically screwed. Uh, his treasure, by the way, is usually by his feet. Uh, or the house there. But the dad's treasure is over here by the little temple or whatever Veristel that he wants us to put the coins on. So when he gets the coins, he'll give uh, uh, this last little gesture as he basically fades away. Found some coins here. Take a look. Put the coins in Aristotle's altar. You place the coins on the altar for a moment. Nothing happens and the coins evaporate silently, steaming away to mist. The ghost watches the coins evaporate to mist, almost in disbelief. At last, you have my gratitude. I feel tired. The ghost blinks and you notice his silhouette is blurring, slightly evaporating as the coins did, but more slowly. But I must reward you somehow. I've got nothing except for, wait, under that boulder. I hid something there years ago. I have no need of it now. For me, it is time to rest. And with that, the ghost dissolves into thin air. 2700 XP. Boom. There's my treasure. There it is. And that's what you did it for. Flattery of positive channeling. Now, no one on our team can use this. So this is a cleric, I think, only item. 
the phylactery positive channeling increases their heals, the big AOE heals slash damage to undead by 2d6. Now notice that it says positive channeling. So you have to be a neutral or a good cleric to do it. If you're an evil cleric, you have negative channeling. And there is a phylactery of negative channeling as well. Same general effect, but again, the heals undead damages the living. So just a different kind. So make sure you're using the right one. Now we're going to go over here and kick these guys ass, but we might as well rest. So uh, let's do our little camp here. All right. We need no rations, cause, or rations, because we're not going to hunt. Uh, I'm going to do... Well, wait first. What is Jubilos good at? He's good at everything except for hunting. Okay. Uh, I'm good at cooking. She's good at camouflage. She's good at spotting stuff. And Jubilos, you can spot stuff as well. Rations will be used, everyone will be rested, and will be good to go. I admit, when I set off on this expedition, I was sure of gaining new discoveries I could write about in my works, and new sensations capable of reducing bleaching. I'll say nothing about discoveries, but I have had quite a few new sensations. Too bad they're predominantly unpleasant. Poor guy. Healed. Nice. Okay, everybody's back in rare form. I do want to talk to the witch one more time. Do a quick save first, just because of the coins in the story we got, just in case it's something else here. Uh, tell her about the coins. I've learned what happened to the village, slain the monster, and freed a cursed soul. She listens to your tale, nodding her head. So that's how it all happened. A scary thing it is, this curse and all. It would seem just a tall tale, but here we are. The village is gone, so who's to blame, you think? Hmm. Maybe something else destroyed the village. Now that's clever of you. You're sharper than I took you for. You're right. Dorsey wasn't a mage. Why would his curse come true? And with such strength, she raises an eyebrow. Turning a dry queen into a monster is not a simple curse like making neighbor's knees ache when he tells a lie. She sniffs and her voice drops. Sides, the, sides. the air in these parts feels wrong. Like, no, no, never mind. We should speak no more about it. So what should it be? Uh, what do you think? The woman slowly smiles and shakes her head. Now more than ever, she reminds you of a fay of the force. It's not up to me, judging folk. Gods can judge. It's easy for them, for they know everything. The young folks can judge as well. It's even easier for them, for they know nothing. And I, I just keep it all in my memory. Fair. Peace out. All right. That's good. I was happy with that. Follow you. Okay, so now the fight that we're about to endeavor may not work. We will try a few times. If it's unsuccessful after the third time, we'll probably go to the earlier save point and bounce out of here. But we're going to give it a go. First, though, I want to talk to these guys one more time because we again found out about the curse. Anything? Nope. Okay. So, over here, on the other side of this darkness, is, uh, I want to say, bears or owl bears. I don't think it's bears, because bears you think would be pretty damn easy, but I could be mistaken. And again, owl bears suck, so. Okay. I want to make sure that the two tanks, tanks are protected. We get our guys protected as best we can. It is a tough fight, so it's one of those that is worth everybody's best. So we have Blur, Blur. Still can't cast on other people, but I can do this. Where's my potions? All right, bark skin, blur. And I'm going to give it to. What's new? Her. Okay. All this Armor wise, board. 28, 29, 26, but that's not counting everything because she's fighting defensively. 
30. We're doing okay. Now, quick save. We are going to teleport to the other side once we do this athletics check. That was easy. And that's greater enraged Oliver. Ah, see, I knew there was something I'm here. Losing my so temper. we need to have stuff here. Pause the game so that I can summon. I will not and falter. summon. Perfect. This will hurt. Okay, Dora, you're gonna delay your turn. Pass all that stuff. Let them get into a frame is my idea here. So we're going to pull all the teammates down, let all the pets do their thing. See how fast they get their butts handed to them for one. Jubilos, though, he's already ready to rock and roll. Might as well have him stippy step that way. And can't reach him with his bombs, so feel free to shoot him. Cool. Proto, five-foot stutter step up here. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, um, shut that off and switch to your range attack for one. AI pattering over here again, it's all borky. Probably the bushes and stuff right away. Now, Dora, move your butt over here and web spell up these guys like that. Boom. Liza. Five foot stutter step. You can bone shaker. Do so. Right. Like I said, it's going to be one of those types of fights. But we got some slowed down and trapped into the web. Five feet stutter step this way to me. Can you reach any of these fools? Yes, you can. Hit that one. Solid hit. Proto, move forward. Can you reach them with your cantrip? Still not yet. But you can. Do this. How are we doing? We got lots of health. Of course, we got skeleton army coming. I just need the army there to, to trap them, so to speak. And the reason we're trapping them. Stuff like this that we can do. Why is uh move your butt up a little bit here, hon? And I feel like we should um some more pets here, why not? Learn. Perfect. Solid. Uh, proto, we're losing skeletons. Uh, five foot stutter step this way. You can sneak attack though. And you can bounce stuff through them. Let's do the bounce spell. Nice, nice. Damage to everybody is always appreciated. Okay, Dora. Turn to blow your wad. Poof. Hey, Gobbles. And again, it doesn't matter if they're going to die with a swing, because these guys are swinging three at a time, so these goblins are going to die probably in the first round. Not the point. The point is to give us a time to do what we need to to burn one of these doofuses down if at all possible, so that everything else becomes a Tricked up like that. Okay. Are we out of everybody? Oh, we got one goblin left. Uh, Jubilost, uh, you know what to do. You're bombing. A this one. Fine use of my talents. Boom. Solid, solid damage. Proto. We're out of skeletons. That can't happen. Won't go to work. Nice. Dora. Auto hit. B auto. Liza. Uh, let's try the lizards. Nice. They do poison damage. That's why I wanted them. Yeah, I have to hit. 
Yeah, we can take a bit of a beating. Like our skeleton army here. Do the lost? Fine. What to do? This is probably the one we're gonna down first. All right. Okay. All right, Dora. Make me proud. Eliza. Help him out. Don't you be lost. Primitives. One down, two to go. Again, this is not an easy fight. All right, uh, we need skeletons one more time. This is it. job. Eliza. Some uh, lizard right behind him to give him some grief, fits and blind spells. You lost. Will they your new ever target. Learn? Yeah, it doesn't much matter. They're both about the same level of damage. Uh, but delay your turn past the skeleton's on. I want to see if they're engaging them. So we can sneak attack either of these, I believe. So, let's do so with the snowball. Boom! Sneak attack, now it's easier for us to get. Take that. Dora. Get it. Nice. It's almost down. Eliza, you can probably down it with this, right? Oh, not quite. Alright, Jubilas is here to save the day. Hit this one because that one's about to die. Yeah. Down to one. Now with our horde, we should be able to overrun it. Beam this one. Yes. That's my team. And oh my, is that a level up for Jubilas? I believe it is. I'll first check the area out. Make sure you're not missing something. Of course, we want to save. Interesting. Here we go. Loot of nondescript stuff, but a swordsman's passion. This is the reason you wanted to come here if you were a dueling sword saint. Uh, again, the normal crit range. I don't think fancy here. It is a plus two weapon, but is agile. So again, your dexterity modifier would be applying for strength uh, or taking over for strength. As so long as you have weapon finesse, your dex, if it's higher, you're getting the full attack bonus and full damage. If you so, a not a bad weapon. For what you had to do to get it, though, you mean you kind of had to figure you were going to get something solid. This is also the area, you don't see it, for the magical plant, the flower, or whatever that we're missing. We haven't yet received that quest, so they don't huh, let it show up here. So this would be a place that you return to, and someone would be like, Oh, you missed treasure. I didn't miss nothing. And it's because it's suddenly there. But that was a, a nice upgrade for us. And we're going to go over here and uh, level up Jubilos before we call this video quits and turn it into another video. So I don't know if this makes three videos or four that you're going to get today for this one. But I don't mind doing the fourth. I may pause it, though, after we shut this video down. Quiet. Just to I'm stretch thinking. my legs a little bit. Uh, but Alchemist, 10... And discovery, and again, remember, we want bombs, specific type of bomb. We want force bombs. Now, it would be awesome if we would have had fast bombs right now, because you could chuck for any bomb, uh, every number of attacks you can do in a combat round, he can do in bombs now, is what this basically means. That's why two weapon fighting, greater two weapon fighting, improved two weapon fighting, all that jazz and rapid shot, all that shit works for him. So he can start just chucking bombs left and right. It's amazing. But. We can't do that because if we're taking him with us to beat, beat the Tenaver Steps, remember, acid bombs and fire bombs aren't going to do shit to those guys. They're immune to both. Holy bombs might. I don't know that. But 
it says against good aligned creatures while they're fighting us that doesn't mean they're not good and they're divas uh, so to me I think of heavenly people so they're probably lawful good maybe lawful evil I don't know but force bombs is kind of the generic damage to everybody and the beautiful part for this the direct hit guy uh, has a chance to be knocked prone they have a reflex save against his DC check for his bombs if they fail it they fall on their ass which again is to our benefit so force bombs is what we're going with and again I know I would have loved to have grabbed the other type of potion too the extend potion would have been amazing just can't be helped we need him for that fight again we could probably get around it but I'm gonna bump his intelligence get some of that perception up world trickery and now we can really invest in arcana to get it caught back up and I feel good about that spell wise uh, notice that we have spells one and two are done all well two's not quite done uh, but one's done three is what we're working on I don't mind protection from arrows communal but we've already proven to ourselves that don't work protection from energy is decent see invisibility communal is decent and this is a way for him to be able to buff the team so I don't mind this one heroism would work for him and we might need it because heroism would be the one that allows him to a plus two to his swing so if we need him to hit with those bombs, this could be beneficial. But we have a wand that can do this. So I'm going to go with the Sea Invisibility Communal because I think that could be more useful to the team. Okay. So that's the logic there. Make sure to put his force bombs down there. And they are cool, pretty, and sexy. Um, spells in his book. I'll happily grab a... By the way, targeted bombing mixture, another good way to make sure that his force bombs hit that one target and one target only for full damage. So that's a solid choice there. Here, again, he can only cast on himself, so it's kind of whatever you feel. Know that he does more damage the smarter he is with his bombs. So Fox's Cunning comes in handy. If you don't have an intelligence bump for him already, this is a good way of making sure that his bombs, again, do more damage. Uh, here, uh, like I said, let's get that C invisibility in there. We already have Resist Energy Communal, Delay Poison Communal, and I'll see Invisibility Communal. So he is a teammate buffer still, even though he doesn't have the Infusion Discovery. So again, I feel pretty good about that. But with that, I'm going to cut the video, guys, and I'll be right back.